Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, first off, we need to go to Common Events, start a parallel process. I mean, you could do this on the world map too if you wanted. It's just easier this way sometimes. Um, name it whatever you want. Make sure there's a switch on to activate it. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a label. You're not going to make a loop because labels are, I guess, usually they're better on performance is what I've heard anyways. And in picture one, you're gonna, I have this too, but um, the first picture you're going to have, the image, what I have is the clouds. So take your full on image and you're kind of going to go based on the scale of your image. M mine is 1280 by 720, so we're going to go by that formula. Um, make it upper left scale it whatever way you want I guess but I kept it a hundred percent um, the opacity at a hundred additive blend um, direct destination zero zero so this will pretty much keep it in the center right at the start so that'll be the first image you have the second one you're gonna have is gonna be the same exact picture except you're gonna offset it away from the first picture in my case I'm gonna do the cloud scrolling from X to a different point in X. You can't do X and Y at the same time without some issues. If you have a full image that's filled with clouds and you move it at a 45 degree angle, it's going to show some issues because underneath the image, is, nothing's going to be there. And while you're scrolling it, it's going to be like an empty space unless you have like a small image within a big dimension. Um, I guess one way you could do is if you make several pictures and offset them from each other, but it's kind of a hassle. So for now, we're going to do X, keep it negative uh, 1280, because in this case, like I said, my um, width of my image is 1280. So this will offset it to the other side of the image. Um, after you do that, keep all the same properties. You're going to go to the p second picture again and in the second picture you're going to move it over 1280. So I'm having it go left to right so I'm moving it to 1280. If I was going to move it right to left I would do negative 1280. I think you're kind of seeing the pattern here. Anyways, the duration will leave uh, max so it doesn't seem like it's going too quick. And I don't do wait for completion because you want both images to move at the same time. For image three, or two, or whatever you want to call it, you're going to have it go to zero, zero. So it's going to go pretty much to the same spot that the original image was. That way when the parallel process resets, it'll appear like the one image is back, or is in the same spot. But it's actually the first image is going to take over this image, and this image takes over the first image to give it a looping feel. We're going to also set that to 999 and then after that you're gonna have weight 999 if this was like 720 and this was 720 you'd make that 720 this way you have the exact amount of time for the pictures to move if you wait it's gonna freeze the pictures or if you do less time it's gonna cut off the pictures and go back to the loop so you wanna make sure that's all the same after you do that you jump to label one and it's just gonna keep on repeating and that's how you do clouds uh, that's one way anyways that's the way that I found to be most efficient so good luck and hope it works out for you.